Hello and welcome to Postcard 50. We've reached a sort of a milestone here. So I've done a bit of well, reading up before it went live. And the first card to show you is this. Now this could be cut down in the middle, couldn't it? Made into bookmarks. But I looked the people up because I'd never heard of them. And this is Johnston Forbes Robertson and his missus, Gertrude Elliott, uh, with whom he had four children. And there's still a statue of him in the good old U.S. of A. Um, his dates are 1853 to 1937. If you look at this card, it's very uh, fine uh, detail on it. There we are. It really is very special. Um, there's a card here. The card itself is sent to a Mr. Miss Birchall in Windsor Road. Uh, Cheadle Hume, I think it is. And it says something. I hardly read it. Before I came online, I, I, I looked for my uh, magnifying glass and I couldn't find it. So I think I'll uh, I'll save you the uh, excitement. But there's an Edward the uh, Seventh or George the Fifth. I never know the difference. Stamp here, and it cost a penny to send to send it. Well, I return thanks for that. Here we have a Christmas scene. It's very charming. On a sledge, or a sled. It was uh, sent on the 13th of July, 1908. Um, it's hot, and I'm glad to have a cool PC to send you, police uh, postcard, uh, place, work, and uh, note results. Best thanks for the note paper, which came down early yesterday. Poor... Something just got five times too late for a good let show. No prospect for the season. We fear to leave far alone, par alone. In other words, the father. On the 18th of August, I made out passages. My, my breath is so short, it presents steep and all's well worth OP. Well, if you can get anything out of that, they probably only wrote it, you know, so the postman tried to read it and, and got nowhere with it. And neither did we. This has been sent to a Mr. Frank uh, Barnes in Linden Gardens, Chiswick, from, from France, I think I, I'm right in saying. And there it is with an interesting set of postmarks, two postmarks and a stamp. And they've also written on the front of the card, as was the habit at the time. We wouldn't find anybody doing that now, but there it is. I don't quite know what it says. It's a reference to where this was taken. Um, and this is obviously up a snowy mountain in France. So there we go. I'll show you again. Rather like it. It's a nice one. This is very low key. I'm going to go right up to the camera, try and make this work. This is a detail, in other words, part of, from a survey of the manor of Compton by William Burgess, dated 1735, 1735. And this is from the Hampshire Records Office, which is in Winchester. And annoyingly, these days, as I'll never open when I go there. In fact, I think they see me coming and they deliberately close. At one time, it would have been open five or six days a week, but no longer. Anyway, there it is. I'll show it to you once more. And it is quite charming and modest. It's obviously a map. Now, here's something I've shown you before, but I'm going to show it to you again. How about that for a flatless dream? 
and a sensor's delight. All sorts of crossings out and stamp, hand stamp, and a postage stamp. It's been sent to Brussels to the Hotel, hotel Catedral, Cathedral, in other words, I suppose. And it originally was sent to Lucerne, but uh, subsequently it was redirected to Yorkshire. And the stamp is uh, Edward the Seventh, and it says, "Dear Charlie, I cannot persuade Mrs. M, presumably his wife, to live at Redcar." Oh, isn't that a shame? Mind you, who would want to live in Redcar? So I have decided to seek another place outside. Glad you are having a good time. I have been having a nasty time since seeing you and only just feeling better, getting better. Kind regards, yours sincerely, GM. And this has been sent from 58 uh, Appleson something, middle, middleness or something, um, in and it's dated July the 30th, 1907. So it's taken 115 years, 116 years to fall into my grubby little hands. And now I'm showing it to the world. <clears throat> Brussels and Lucerne and latterly Yorkshire postmarks. Post now here's a little preoccupation of mine. Post boxes. They're rather fine, aren't they? Um, I'm hesitating. One in Reading, one in Windsor, one in Eton, one in Windsor again, one in Reading again, and finally one in Reading again. So that's one, two, three Reddings and two Windsors and one Etons. Well, I frequently go to, to uh, Reading and um, it has the name of the monarch on it. Yeah, obviously. Elizabeth Regina and GR for George Rex and so forth. So there they are, all are. This one looks very posh, doesn't it? It must have been repainted. Possibly several times, I don't know. <clears throat> now here's another post box. And I don't know where this is. That's one of the reasons I'm showing it. It's a Victorian hexagonal post box. Oh, I do know. It does say it's in Buxton, um, where I went for the Gilbert and Sullivan Festival. And it was put up in 1867. And it's it's one of the old pen folds made in Dudley. It's one of the, still, the two still in use. The other is in Handadno. There is a third in the Royal Museum, London. I was actually told there is one in Chelsea, but if it if it was one then, there isn't one there now. It may very well be that it is just rotted away in the way that in the end left out in all weathers, things can rust into the ground. This is a Pedley card. That's quite an unusual name. Um, and that's a Derbyshire printer in Glossop. And it's a photograph by Peter Pedley himself. I rather like it, of course I do. I'm a bit of a sucker for these odd things. There we are. There we are. Now, here's something which is closer to close at hand and close to my heart. This was done by my cousin, who is uh, living in Totnes in Devon in retirement. And it's been sent to me by my cousin, Sue, who is his sister. Hope you're keeping well, it says. I won't read all the details. So there it is. You can see the bridge and snow on some of the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the fields, not all of them, and the river, and possibly some canoeists. But the whole thing is uh, fairly in keeping with him. It, it, it's fairly modest, I think you would say. Um, who knows, it may be a, a January day, just such as it, it is at the moment. This is an oil pastel um, of the River Dart at Totnes. 
and it's just called Winter again. I just a modest title, but it's rather nice, I think. Now here's rather here's something rather grand. Look at this. This is not Kit Williams' masquerade hair, but it is a hair, and he's herring along, isn't he? Um, it's a Christmas card for sending people a lifeline. Provided 481 toilets in Bangladeshi homes, plumbed them into a water system so people can stay clean and safe from deadly diseases. I don't know if you put that on the back of a Christmas card, it's quite beyond me, but I suppose in a way it's tucking at the heart streams, uh, heart streams, heart strings in order to get some money and let's face it, they need it. Anyway, I think that's lovely. I really do like that. And it's from my friend Nicola, so I will not read out what she did. But this is quite unusual because inside the greetings card, there's also the facility, if you cut it down here, to make it into a postcard and send it back. So I'm a good mind to send it back to her and, and thank her for it. Here we are, at most recent acquisition. It took quite some time to find this, actually. I went all over the Bournemouth. Um, I'm so sorry. I like going all over Bournemouth. No, this is from Selborne. I went here with my friend David Coppin. And um, this is Gilbert White's house and gardens. I'm sure you know about the Vicar of Selborne, and if you don't, I'm not about to say anything about him. www Gilbert White House, White's House .org .uk. And this is an Inspire card. And it is his garden, which are most charming, aren't they? There we are. And he was a naturalist as well as he living or something. Here is a, you'll have to screw your eyes up for this. Here is another Selborne card bought on the same day. Even though it's quite dark inside the church. I think certain things are delineated. They do stand out. It's Selborne Church and it's a photograph by G. M. Austin. And it's a Bur Berwick, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Tempest colour card, um, and it's printed in England, down in Cornwall, actually. So there you are. Hardly anything OTT, but you can see the uh, altar and some stained glass there, and the archway, of course. There we are. And here, just in case you haven't suffered enough another post box presumably a pen fold again but this one i can't do as well for you britain's oldest pillar box in use today well just a, a minute ago that it was mentioned wasn't it so do you think it's the same one i'm relying on you to help me here is that the same i don't think for a second it is is the same? It's almost no similarity at all. Unless there's somebody inside it dying laughing or something like that. You know, if you just imagine it's something moving around. No, I don't think it is the same. But what I have discovered is that uh, maybe some conflict as to what. If that isn't in Landadno, it should be in Chelsea. And if it's not in Chelsea, it should be the Postal Museum. Blah, blah and blah. Here we are. Where do you think this is? The two pins, I wouldn't tell you. This is the River, River Kennet down here. And obviously the bridge. Oh, they can walk across. There's a really brilliant and extremely affordable Chinese place here. Not necessarily a takeaway. You can sit in there and have your food. And for seven or eight quid, I've been in there several times with my colleagues from Oxfam. Boy, is it good. Really good value, friendly, friendly, and lots of choice. I mean, what else do you want? And it and it's delicious. Anyway, this is Reading, the new ish part, newer part of Reading. And finally, a card, a greetings card, which can be used, and I would use it as a Christmas card, but it doesn't have to be seen in that light. This is Overton, which is a village near Basingstoke, and it's supporting St Michael's hospice 
as a charity caring for patients and their families in end of life and palliative care. They care for people across Northern Hampshire, both on the inpatient unit and in their own homes. As a charity, they receive less than 20% of the funds they need from government and need to raise 5.5 million every year through their charity shops, events, and the kind and the kind donations of local people and companies who support them. And this is from an image, front image, by Angela Cardiff. Well, Angela, I don't know enough about art to pass comment other than simply to show it and see it, it looks like it's been washed with colour, deliberately, I mean, uh, to make it, um, well, what shall we say, not too pungent. And here's a kingfisher, and there is the hand post, as my grandfather used to call it, I'm told, and obviously the church, the high street. Um, it's quite nice, isn't it? There we go. Enjoy that. Well, that's it. I'd like to thank you very much. This has been Postcards 50. We've reached a half century, and by God, I haven't finished yet. I hope very much you've enjoyed having a look at parts of parts of my collection. I'm James Pratt, and you're not. <laughs>